have a monkey in your pants? Hi right, folks, how's it going? Pick up video. <coughs> it's what it is, excuse the cough. And um, excuse if my face colour is matching my t-shirt colour slightly, but um, I've been out on a 15 mile bike ride and it was warm and I was very pooped and I'm one of those people that turns a shade of red when they exercise. So that's why my face may or may not be a shade of red. I don't know. I don't know. But pickups um, will do uh, similar to the last time. Uh, a lot of feedback on the back of the previous pickups video with the gameplay, gameplay clips. I can't speak and I can't be bothered to edit this. Although I'm going to have to edit it quite a bit, obviously. But on the back of the last pickups video with the gameplay clips. Got it right. Um, a lot of people appreciate it and whatnot. And I think it's more relevant for the older games and um, particularly some spectrum games and whatnot because a lot of people may not have seen said particular games in the past themselves and it's good to get a little bit of information blurb and whatnot and yes it takes an absolute fucking age to do but there's no rush is there i'll make a video you don't need to necessarily see it for a day or two you don't even know when i'm making it so behind the scenes there's a bit of work i've got really itchy nose hold on fucking so yeah, similar to last time, um, I've got a couple of modern games, so I'll uh, show you them first, is what I'm going to say. Sorry, I'm all a bit all over the place this afternoon, I don't know why. But, um, these are two new games for the Wii U, um, both came just the other day, and um, both look pretty interesting, to be honest with you. And they're both still sealed, because I seem to be collecting a lot of Wii U games, but a lot of them are sealed. Like ninety percent of them are sealed, and the the more I collect that are sealed, the less likely that I want to actually open them and play them because I'm getting a sealed Wii U collection. But there's certainly some games. I've got something on my screen. It's gone. What was that? I don't even know. Ignore me. Um, the more sealed games that I have for it that I collect for it, the less that I want to open. Does that make sense? I'm inadvertently like, somehow weirdly collecting a sealed Wii U game collection, but I'm gonna have to open some of them soon because I certainly want to play some of them. Fuck, did that last forever? It seemed like it. But the first game, um, I love the artwork on this box actually. It's very colourful and nice. But it is, um, what's it called? Fuck. I should have, fuck, I know what it's called. I should. Splatoon! so this should have came out launch day or the day after launch for me but I got it from the game collection it was only I think it was only 25 pounds they had some it's it dark dark cheap um, a game that looks really really interesting oh and they've got the amiibos on the back but sensibly I'm no longer collecting the amiibos but um, yeah squad based sort of um, online shooter as well as got a single player element of it I've not opened this, you say, how do I know? I just know this stuff, luckily. Um, but it looks really, really interesting, really, really colourful. Um, and it's certainly a little bit different from Nintendo, I think, this sort of style of game. And, um, sorry, I'm, I know I'm maybe getting glare in your face. But, uh, yeah, it's, the only thing is it's not got online chat. But I know uh, there was a lot of hoo-ha about it because I didn't have any online chat. But at the same time, a lot of the time I don't chat when I'm playing online anyway because I can't bother chatting to a bunch of dickheads sometimes. But... Um, it's something I want to play very, very soon, even though it means I'm going to have to open one of my sealed Wii U games. That's how it happens sometimes. But it looks really, really genuinely interesting, and there's apparently going to be supporting it for quite a while, bringing out um, DLC. I think there's already been a, a new weapon or something like that, and there's going to be new maps. I don't know if there's going to be new modes, etc. But yeah, something that piques my interest, something very, very different, I think, from Nintendo. And um it looks really, really interesting. A lot of you guys out there maybe played this already. I am going to get round to it. But yes, yeah, Splatoon. It's uh, if anything, it, it'll look nice sealed on the shelf. Not really. I'm going to play it. But the next game I also got from the game collection, and this was um, only twenty pounds. So I thought that's cheap as anything. New Wii U games, twenty pounds. That's well cheap. But it is. Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush. I had to look there because I know it's called the Rainbow Curse or something like that in another country. But Kirby and the Rainbow Paintbrush.
Again, this is another sealed game just now, but it's don't know how well you can see there. It's like um, you can sort of see it's like claymation clay art style. I think the graphical oh look there as well. The graphical style of the game it looks really really interesting. It looks like everything's made out of clay or made out of plaster. Seen, um, but it's it's uh, I've, I've, what Kirby games have I played? I think I've played a Kirby pinball game and a Kirby game on the um, Game Boy. I don't know what it's called, side scroller thing where you suck enemies up and you spit them out. I've not played many Kirby games, but um, this is primarily played on, or it is played on the gamepad, but it, what you see on the gamepad is mirrored on the screen. And um, from what I can tell, you basically draw a rainbow. How childish is this going to sound? But, but it's a game that looks interesting and intrigues me, that you sort of draw a rainbow path and the little ball Kirby can follow the rainbow path. And um, what have you got to do? get to the end of the levels or something. I've not played it. Use the stylus in various ways. Draw and roll, tap to dash, collect items, protect Kirby. Up to four friends can play together. I don't have friends and children aren't allowed to touch my toys, apart from the Xbox One because I've got Minecraft. Kirby rolls out three transformations. Ooh, Kirby tank. Oh, Kirby submarine or Kirby rocket. Wow, I never knew that. Draw rainbow ro ropes to guide him through colorful worlds. Kirby's on a roll in this Claypool adventure. Why does he roll everywhere? Actually, it's like, he's, he has, he's got legs, eh? He's definitely got legs. Is it because he's made out of plasticine he has to roll? What is it, clay? I don't I don't know, but this is one of those fucking Nintendo, you've got to stop this shit, right? Because Amiibo. Amiibo. Give Kirby fantastic power-ups with three different Amiibos. Well... What did I do recently? I sold all my mirrors, didn't I? So we've got, um, what have we got there? We've got Kirby. He's probably easy enough to find if I desperately. Would. See, that's the thing with selling all my mirrors. I maybe want to get some loose ones now. Is this time for another video? Not really, but like toad, like loose so I can if I like if I want to use them in the games. I didn't want to open the ones that I had. I'm not buying my Wii U collect my Wii U my uh, amiibo collection bags. It's all right, but toad. And any other ones that I need specifically for games, if I think it's going to be worthwhile. But anyway, what was I saying? Um, Kirby, King Dedede, which was hard as hell, quite expensive to find, and Meta Knight, which was hard to, to find and quite expensive to find. I know that didn't make sense, but what do they do? Give Kirby fantastic power ups. Ah, oh, is that it? Ah, oh, sorry, it's not like extra levels or anything. I don't Scrap that, I do not need to buy the Amiibos back. Hold fire, everybody's safe including my son A because that doesn't really do that much but yeah games like this from Nintendo first party exclusive awesome shit basically um, artistic style it looks amazing you probably can't tell because the glare and all that shit but claymation style graphics looks really really good and again I'm looking forward to so Joshi's Woolly World that's another game that's coming out the end of this month or very very soon um, I'll game the artistic style and that looks really 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 good um, so yeah, another one for the Wii U collection. Um, I do need to start opening up and playing my Wii U games, but they're all sealed. Can I do? Oh, what? Nobody even noticed. Look, it's got like a little squid thing there and a little Kirby thing there. Have they all got that? Oh, they've all got a little symbol there. Shows you how much I've played my Wii U games. I've not. That's the problem. That's why they're all still sealed. Anyway, next one, please. So the next lot of stuff. Sorry, I'm just trying to find somewhere to find my to find my to put my stuff. The next um, couple of games are uh, Spectrum games. I, don't, I can't speak. Um, I, I did a pickup video recently. We got a few Spectrum games. And I got them all from this one seller, and it was like a, I've said before, like a independent run sort of cash generator, trade it in type store. And they seem to be listing Spectrum games and some quite interesting ones. It was the one that listed. Um, actually, somebody said in one of my videos recently, they can't understand me. Is it because I'm squash or because I do talk fast sometimes? If you want me to do subtitle cards, like I will handwrite them. I don't know how I'm going to do that because then I'm going to have to have a script, but I will. If, if if you sign up to my Patreon and pledge, oh, I'm only joking. I've not even got a Patreon. Anyway, next, um, yeah, that it's the same seller that had Dizzy Spellbound Dizzy that sold for like sixty something pounds. I randomly been checking what other games they've got and it's come. A, randomly put up pretty decent and interesting Spectrum games and can I please say if any of you people out there are also bidding on Spectrum games that I'm wanting please
please fuck off. Because all you're doing is making them more expensive, and, that, and that's it's not good. I thought I was the only avid Spectrum collector, so fuck off and nobody bidding on my shit, all right? That's that. But the first game that I've got is, there you go, Claire, Deactivators. I've said before that um, I like these double size cassette things um, and I played this game when I was a kid. Spectrum 48k version includes 128 enhanced version. In other words, it's probably got title screen music or something. But um, this is a game, I've played it as a child. I certainly didn't have it in this kind of box size. Um, but it's like split screen. There you go, you can sort of see that and you like Something to do with bombs, obviously, because there's a bomb there. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can play two... <clears throat> That's Iron Brew, I'm sorry. As I was saying, I'm pretty sure you can play um, two players. And I, 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 don't, I, I can't remember what you have to do. A group of fanatical saboteurs have infiltrated the gravitational research. Really? We'll have to use our imaginations here. This is 1980 Spectrum. Institute. Oh, Research Institute. And painted numerous... Planted. I was going to say painting. How is the, what danger is there in painted stuff? Planted numerous time bonds throughout the five laboratories. They have also reprogrammed my robot guards to act against me. Blah, blah, blah. Save the world, basically. But um, the activators. Um, yeah, I like big box games like this, double size. And it's a game that I played back in the day. I just, I can't remember. If it was this box that I had, I could not remember it looking like this. I don't know if it was a single cassette or a budget release. I don't know, but glad to have that and this one as well. Never played this on the Spectrum, but um, I know what it is. It's an absolute classic. So uh, it is for me anyway. But it's um, APB. See, like I said, I've never played this on the Spectrum at all, and I've never seen the proper arcade cabinet. That looks fucking awesome, that does. But, um, so a top-down cup car game, I've played it probably on the Atari ST, maybe the Amiga, the Atari Lynx. But um, yeah, again, it's another um, top-down game. I've never seen it on the Spectrum. And it's got, uh, obviously, at the point of me recording this, I will have by the time I put the video together, so it's got game clips. It's like, um, that is not Spectrum Graphics on the back, whatever that is, I do not know. But it's uh, Tengen, Domark. Oh, is there a poster? I love posters. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a tiny poster. Oh, my God, it's a... It's a tiny, tiny, tiny poster. Um, I like finding stuff like that. Oh, no, how'd you fold it? Oh, it's okay. Oh, good. But, yeah, one that I've never seen for the Spectrum. And again, because it was a double-sized um, cassette box. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. All Points Bulletin, ABP. I knew that's what it was called. Um, I just always call it ABP. AP, APB. Oh, yep, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, glad to have that. Um, I'm getting quite a few nice double cassette size games in my collection. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll maybe do a gameplay video of that at some point. This next game is a, a classic for me. Ooh, this kiss, this box is really nice condition. Wow. And it's um Road Blasters. This is a, a 
arcade game, I think. Originally an arcade game. And I had this, and I had it like this. The box was nowhere near as nice condition. Like, there's not a scratch or blemish on this box. It looks like it's brand new. Honestly, I can't, like, I can't explain the fact of how nice and fresh and new this doesn't smell. Doesn't particularly smell new, but does plastic ever, it doesn't smell. I don't know, I just thought I'd give that a sniff. But <clears throat> Retro Day Nintendo, he's been collecting Spectrum games recently. You better not be bidding on any stuff that I'm wanting. But yeah, um, he picked this up not that long ago, and I'd forgotten about this game until I saw it, and I was like, ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that, and it's, honestly, it's really, really nice condition. Is there a poster? No, there's just instructions. But, um, Road Blasters! It's really, really nice condition. Really glad to have that. Um, and obviously, you get your obligatory different systems, graphics on the back, and funny enough, the Spectrum one is the monochromatic one up there, but it's a good... Um, a good little game. Hamstrad and Commodore and Spectrum versions. Commodore and Hamstrad looks very, very similar. Spectrum's just green and green and blue and white and that's it. But yeah, glad to have this. A game that I had back in the day. And um it's really, really good. Next game is uh what which one am I gonna pick up first? Which one? It's a uh, Dizzy Panic. Dizzy Panic is one of those games that um, are like, it's not, it's hard to explain, it's not, your proper Dizzy Adventure games. I don't know if these, this is Codemasters, I don't know if Oliver Twins had anything to do with this, I'm assuming so because it's Dizzy, I do not know, but um, it's one of those sort of spin-off Dizzy games is what I like to call them, it's not one of the proper Dizzy Adventure games. Um, this is just, yep, I was just making sure I remember, uh, have a look in the back, make sure I remember it, it's like, drop in shapes or something like that and oh, I can't really remember it's just some yeah drop shapes through different it's like a fucking baby's doy drop make move the thing I think at the bottom moves so the sh correct shapes go through the correct holes I think um by the best seller and over all of our twins that in back so they did do it I wasn't sure if they just allowed the code masters to maybe do a spin-off dizzy game or not this is really really good condition and I'm really glad to have that because um it's another one from our Dizzy collection, which is proven quite hard to complete. Uh, next game is really, really amazing condition as well. All from the same cell of these were, but it is Bubble Dizzy. Again, Bubble Dizzy is one of these um, spin-off games, not a proper Dizzy game is the way I see it. Um, I th again, I've not played this for a while, but I'm sure you you float in bubbles to get to the surface of the water. I don't even know. But yeah, it's another one for the collection. Really, really ridiculously amazing condition. I'd love to know where this seller gets all those games from. Maybe it's people just hand them in. So it's like a cash in type cash generator shop thing. Really, really good condition. Again, it's another one I'm glad to have because it's another Dizzy game. Next one is, um, funnily enough, another Dizzy game, and it is Dizzy Down the Rapids. Again, Dizzy Down the Rapids is another um, spin-off series of the Dizzy games. Spin-offs, 
you know what I mean, it's another spin-off game of the Dizzy franchise, I suppose. It's not a proper Dizzy adventure game is the way I see it. But this is a bit like, the way I remember, I have played this, is a bit like Tubin. If you know what the arcade game Tubin is, you basically, what are you even on? Like, it looks like an inner tube or a raft or, oh no, you're in a barrel maybe. And uh, you float down the water. Dip into Torrent River in the craziest barrel race. It's a barrel race. There we go. Who would have known that? Amazing action as you dodge trolls. Under bridges. Trolls live under bridges. I'm with you, Codemasters. I'm with you. Um, leap waterfalls and ride the rapids. Inspiringly adventurous, splashing, fran, fran, fun. Actual spectrum screenshots, it says. Actual spectrum screenshots for once. But yeah, it's not an amazing game. I, I don't really rate many of the spin off games. Um, to be fair, compared to the proper Dizzy Adventures, some one or two of them are all right. But yeah, like I say, another one for the Dizzy collection, uh, Dizzy Down the Rapids. Really, really glad to have that. But that's all the pickups, guys, for this week. Um, but those three Dizzy games, Dizzy Panic, Bubble Dizzy, Dizzy Down the Rapids, add to my existing Dizzy games. Or oh, might as well get them in some sort of reasonable order. Might as well. Dizzy Original, Treasure Island Dizzy, which is the second. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Fantasy World Dizzy, which is the third. This is where I'm going to go a bit wrong. Magic Land Dizzy, which I think is the fourth. And we've also got Fast Food, which is another Dizzy spin off game. And this one was reasonably quite hard to find. I was glad that I found this. But Dizzy Prince of the Yog Folk, my brain. It's pretty cool. Yeah, my brain was failing me, sorry. So <coughs> I think. Correct me if I'm wrong without looking on Wikipedia or anything like that. I think I've still got to get the elusive Spellbound Dizzy, which is what it fucking went for £60 the other week, didn't it? Um, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. I watched that recently where it went for £30 something. Pound. I just, I don't know. I do need it and I do want it. I maybe should have bought it. I don't know why I didn't, but I just decided not to. £30 pound? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll maybe have to at some point just lump up the cash for it. So I think I still need Spellbound Dizzy, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy, and Quick Sacks. I don't know if there's any more. So I've got Panic Dizzy, Bubble Dizzy, Dizzy Down the Rapids, Dizzy, Treasure Island Dizzy, Fancy World Dizzy, Magic Land Dizzy, Fast Food, Dizzy Prince of the York Folk, and Spellbound Dizzy, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy, Quick Snacks. I've got Fast Food, I said that. Do I need any more? Are there any more Dizzy games that I've missed? Let me know, guys. Um, be much appreciated without me googling, um, because it saves me googling, and maybe you guys could google and write in the comments down below because I'm lazy or something like that. But um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Um, lots of dizzy games, lots of good spectrum games, and a couple of nice new um, sealed Wii U games that I'm gonna have to crack open and play at some point, aren't I? Am I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I want to, so I'm gonna have to. Unless I'm just got a disc only copy. <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, guys, that's it for me. As always, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It is all seriously much appreciated, and I will catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?